I'm Maddie, and today I'm out with my binoculars. Binoculars help you to see things that are really far away, close up. Can you guess what I'm trying to see with my binoculars today? Did you guess? I'm bird spotting. Look, there's a bird flying in the sky. It's a gull. And there's one perched in the tree. It's a blue tit. But today, I'm looking for a bird's nest. A bird builds its nest so it has a safe place to lay its eggs and look after its chicks. But do you know how a bird makes its nest? How does a bird's nest work? Let's find out. How does it work? Bird's nest. How a bird's nest works, I've come to a nature reserve. They have lots of different types of birds here. Can you hear them? Some birds build their nests high up in trees, and others hide their nests in branches and bushes. This is so the birds can keep their eggs safe from other animals and the weather. Like the rain. And the wind. <laughs> but to find out how a bird's nest works, I think we should get a closer look at one. This is Jack, and Jack is an expert in bird's nests. Now, you shouldn't touch, move, or go too close to a bird's nest, but I've got special permission to show you this one so we can find out how it was made. And today, we're looking at a robin's nest. Can you see it's got a, a dip in the middle, but the sides are nice and high? It's called a cup nest. This keeps the robin's eggs nice and safe when they're laid. To get a closer look, let's use one of my special cameras. This is a microscope camera, and it will let us see what the nest is built of really close up. So let's take a look. There's a twig. That green stuff is moss. And what about this? It looks beautiful, but it's just a dry leaf. But to find out how a bird builds its nest, we need to take a closer look. When a robin builds its nest, it can Lots of dried grass, twigs, moss, and leaves. It makes lots and lots of trips. The bird builds the structure of the nest by weaving all the things it's collected together. The bird collects wet mud from ponds and puddles, which binds and sticks everything together like glue. uses its tummy to press on the inside of the nest and make a dip. When the nest is ready, the bird will lay its eggs. And the eggs hatch two weeks later. The chicks live in the nest for another two weeks before they're ready to fly away. Birds are really clever builders, aren't they? Here at the Nature Reserve, they used a special camera to film a bird building its nest inside this nest box. Shall we see how it did it? This bird is called a blue tit, and here it is, building its nest inside the box. Wow, can you see it's bringing in bits of moss, leaves, uh, twigs, even little feathers. These are the building materials for its nest flapping around. That was great. Now let's find out what happened just a few weeks later. The blue tit laid lots of eggs inside the nest. And can you spot what's in the corner? That's right, it's a chick. One of the eggs has hatched. Look how cosy the chick is inside the nest. It was great to see inside a bird's nest, but to show you how clever birds are at making nests, I'm going to try to build one. And first, we need some building materials. Can you remember what we need? We can use leaves, twigs, and moss. I'm going to start by making a frame with some of the twigs and bits of dry grass. Look, the nest 
forest is taking shape. The twigs and grass are woven together in a circle. Now I'm going to use a bit of mud and wet moss to help everything stick together. A bird would make the inside of the nest round and smooth using its tummy, but I can't do that, so I'm just going to use my hand instead. To finish the nest, I'm going to put some small, soft feathers on the inside. It's looking great, but a bird's nest needs to be put somewhere safe. Well, I think I found the perfect spot. A bird's nest should be able to hold some eggs, so I've made five out of modelling clay. Let's see if my bird's nest can hold them. One. Two. try at a bird's nest. That was so much fun! That was brilliant. I loved finding out about how a bird's nest works. What did you like most? Do you remember the name of the type of nest that a small bird might make? That's right, it's a cup nest. Did you hear the sound that the birds were making? Did you see the little chick on the Nature Reserve special camera? So the next time you see a bird, you'll know how it builds its nest. A bird's nest keeps its eggs and chicks warm and safe while they grow. We have things to keep us safe too, don't we? Can you think of any? We put on sunglasses to protect our eyes from the sun. We wear gloves to protect our hands from the cold. And we wear a helmet on our heads to keep it safe when we ride a bike. But do you know how a bike helmet is made? Let's find out. How is it made? Helmet. Bike helmets are made here, in a bike helmet factory. Here, they make bike helmets in lots of different colours. Red ones. Grey ones. Blue ones. But today, they're making my favourite colour, orange. Bike helmets are great because they're soft and comfy on the inside, but hard on the outside to protect our heads. But to make a hard bike helmet, you need to start with something that rolls. Carbon fibre. Carbon fibre is made of thousands of tiny strands of a natural material called carbon. But to get a better look at them, I've got one of my special cameras. It's called a microscope camera and lets me see small things much bigger. Oh, can you see the carbon fibre? Look at how those strands are going over and under over and under each other. It's called a weave. Each of those strands might be tiny, but they're really, really strong. Let me show you how strong. Here, I've got a strand of carbon fibre and a strand of cotton. Cotton is used to make things like cotton shopping bags or my shirt, so it's quite strong. But let's see what happens when I try to break it. That was very easy. So what do you think will happen when I do the same to the strand of carbon fibre? Shall we see? <laughs> I have no chance of breaking that. That is so strong and it's only a tiny strand. So imagine how strong it is when you weave lots of strands together. This is perfect for making bike helmets. To do that, we need a mould, and this helmet mould gives the helmet its shape. I think it looks a bit like a mixing bowl, doesn't it? Can you remember the colour of the helmet we're making today? That's right, orange. Like this, orange. And for that, we're going to need some special orange paint. This is Lewis. He mixes the orange paint before he paints the mould with a paintbrush. Next, he adds something called resin. It works like a glue and helps the carbon fibre go hard. Can you
you see it takes the shape of the bike helmet mould? Now it just needs a trim. And once the edges have been cut, our helmet shape is left to dry. This helmet has been drying in the mould for four hours, so it's ready to come out. And Lewis uses a strong blast of air to help lift it out of the mould, like this. <laughs> Did you hear that? And there it comes. Whoa, that is brilliant. It's like a shiny orange eggshell. It's starting to look more like a bike helmet, isn't it? But there's more. Next stage is drilling. drills holes in the top of the helmet, so air can get in to keep our head cool when we wear it. And some holes on the side for straps. It was quick, wasn't it? So, we've got the hard shell to protect our head, but it's a little bit wobbly, so we need something to hold it in place. Do you know what it is? That's right, we need the straps. First, we have to put these into the holes in the side of the helmet. They're called rivets. The rivets hold the straps into the helmet, and the straps hold the helmet onto our head. First, Lewis puts part of the rivet and the strap onto this blue press. The helmet goes on top, and then Lewis adds the second part of the rivet. Next, the rivets are pressed together. One strap. Now it's time for the other one. Lewis then fixes an aluminium strip to the edge of the helmet to make the sharp edges smooth. The helmet needs some special padding on the inside so that it fits and it's comfortable to wear. So that if we had an accident, it would help to protect our head a little bit like a cushion. <laughs> Polish and it's ready to wear. Here you go, a finished bike helmet. I think it looks brilliant and I am off for a bike ride. I loved learning about bike helmets. What did you like most about seeing how a bike helmet is made? Do you remember the name of the strong material the helmet is made of? That's right, it's called carbon fibre. Remember the sound that was made as the helmet shell came out of the mould? And did you see my special camera filming the carbon fibre close up? This is called a weave pattern. So the next time you go for a ride on your bike, you'll know how a bike helmet is made to keep us safe from any bumps. And if you see a bird flying, it might be on its way to build a nest in a tree. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. There are lots of things